Very carefully, I got started tattooing. I remember one time I'm sitting up at Big Joe's, waiting for the guy that was doing my work to come along, and I saw a catalog laying there of tattoo supplies. I didn't know anything like it existed. The upshot is I reach over and I grab the catalog, and no, no sooner than I got my finger, somebody snatched it away. Said, not for you, not for you. Yeah. Up the road somewhere, I met a young woman that was tattooing here at the time. She's long since quit, who subsequently gave me the address of the person to get the uh, catalog from. You know, it was Spalding and Rogers, in fact. You know, I still do business with them today. And I was pursuing a fine art career. In fact, I was showing in galleries here, and did museum shows, and, and was even selling work, you know. The upshot is, is one night, after, soon after I got the work started, I went to these, one of these big uh, loft parties over in Soho. I mean, the joint was packed, must have been 400 artists there, you know. And I was standing there looking around me, and I'm thinking, there ain't one of them here could do a tattoo. And it was that realization, you know, that in fact it was a specialized form of expression. You had to uh, do everything well, you know, from portraits to lettering to you name it. And on top of it, you didn't have to kiss dealers' asses to try to get an exhibition somewhere. That was the most important part, you know. <laughs> you know so we've been here about 10 years at this place, you know. I was bootlegging here for 20, 21 years prior to that, you know. Uh, but it's only 10 years since it became officially legal here and that they had a ban on it. I, I used to be on the Bowery on the fourth floor of the loft that I lived in. and. Uh, Mihai's tattooing one guy and the buzzer rings, you know, and I go to the intercom, who is it? It's the state police. Whoa, shit, that's holy smoke. Okay, okay, I'll be right there. It's state police, we're looking for Mike Bacchetti. I said, okay, okay, I'll be right down. So anyway, I tell Mihai, I'll be quiet. <laughs> so I go downstairs and there's two plainclothes cops that got their badge and stuff, you know, and it's the state police. Hey, you're Mike Bacchetti? Yeah, I'm Mike Bacchetti. You do tattoos? Yeah, I do tattoos, you know. Uh, well, I wonder if you can identify these, you know. The upshot is there was some guy over here off of uh, murdering prostitutes that were working off of Eldridge, Eldridge Street over here, and some of them were tattooed. And they wanted to know if I could identify any of the tattoos, you know. And that was it. And in the end, I say to the guy, oh, how the hell do you guys know I'm here? And then one guy said, we know everything. And I might come back one day and get this thing fixed up. <laughs> and he bears his, bears his sleeve and, and there he's got an old tattoo. You know? Tattooing has kind of always been in my family. My father started tattooing when I was about four years old. Kind of started getting acquainted with the process when I was about 10. And at the age of 15, I decided that was what I wanted to do. Uh, when I was a teenager, there were a few years where I was sort of floundering. And uh, I think when I was about 18, 19, I made the clear decision to pursue it full time, but I haven't looked back since. Well, my father was my primary teacher, and I've had other teachers, uh, and I'm pretty much influenced by most things that I see around me in quality. Part of my love of tattooing is that I get to do everything, and I have to have some knowledge of many different kinds of traditions. Working with my father, I'm, I'm lucky to get to know him as an artist and a person, as well as as a parent. We don't do a lot of collaborating, but once in a while it happens. Somebody once told me when I was starting out that every person you do a tattoo on is going to tell you how great you are, and the minute you believe it, you're sunk. The most important, I think, is to deliver as good a product as you can, and when you think you got it good, you do it again to try to make it better, you know, and to me that's the nature of the beast. Unfortunately, I don't think everybody marches in that cadence, per se. You know, per, I, I, I remember myself, I mean, the first day I made a hundred bucks tattoo and I couldn't believe it. I mean, holy smoke, who ever heard of such a thing? And the fact of the matter is, I think that the better your product, the better chance you have of making money at it.